Hi guys, it's Tracy from My Grandma's Teacups, and I thought I would show you today um, the setup of my Traveler's Notebook that I showed you the unboxing for a while ago. This is the Foxy Fix, and it's the Botanical Leather, and um, this one I decided to use to hold all of my Illustrated Faith devotionals as I was working through them. Um, it's a lot easier to take this with me and my Bible if I want to work somewhere than to have all the separate devotionals and have to try to keep track of them all. So I think this one turned out really cute. My plan is that as I'm working on different devotionals, I'll switch them out and put the old devotionals into a storage box of some sort and then um, keep my current ones in here that I'm, you know, still, I still want to work on a bit. A couple of these in here are finished, um, but I don't know, I'm not done with them yet, <laughs> if that makes sense. I have, I still have some research that I want to do on some of the passages, etc. So uh, let's get into this one. Um, I, on the side here, I just have a cute little charm and it's um, a little gold leaf. I don't know if you can see it there. There's a little gold leaf and then there's a little peach colored um, blossom and then a little pink bud and just a, a giant white bead that looks like a pearl. Um, and then I just have it clasped just with a claw clasp and I have it through this rope that's in my TN. Um, but I, I still, I don't want to do that because I know that's really hard on the, on the straps. So um, I still have to figure that one out, but I didn't really want to hang it off of this part either. So it's still a work in process. I don't know. Um, this is uh, a little bit of bling which I, that I thought offset nicely with the color because this is, for me, this is a really bright color. Um, I tend towards really light vintage kind of colors, but when I paired it with this kind of traditional looking lace, I thought it, it kind of brought it down to where it did look kind of vintage. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, and it's just, of course, a baby headband that you can get. I think I paid it like a dollar for it. Same with the keychain. I purchased it. Um, I'm not going to say where I purchased it because there are some people are getting in trouble on YouTube for mentioning this particular online place. So, but I'm sure you all know it. So yeah, these were each like a dollar. So when you open it up, see, this isn't ideal, <laughs> but when you open it up, I have the large secretarial pocket and then the small pocket. So in the small pocket, I just stuck one of those sparkly tees, but in the secretarial pocket, I really, I'm enjoying having these big pockets because I'm able to keep my faith-based stamps in here, which makes it really convenient because if I'm on the run, and I, and I want to do some work in my Bible with some of these devotionals. I have some stamps with me and I always have ink and stuff with me just because I do. So the first one that I had up is the Rise Up devotional. And yeah, I saw some writing to do in it. Like there's, I'm not a person that will sit and do it kind of in order. I have to Oh, I read it in order, but I didn't fill it out in order just because I was still um, thinking about things that I was writing. And I don't think that there's any rule that says that you have to do them in order. I just kind of do it as I feel it. Um, and it looks like my little guy was in here too. So he was working on the devotionals. <laughs> so this one I didn't do very much artwork in. I, did, I was doing more of the writing in it. And then um, I know that I did some passages. Um, I illustrated them in my Bible. So um, the second one, I think this was actually the first one that I worked on was the goals with grace. And it was really fun. Um, it really made me think. So it's kind of in here. And I just kind of circled stuff that I wanted to look up. And then I put some extra stickers in. Um, Lots of writing, more stickers. So this one's almost done. So I'll move in into storage soon. Um, 
so that was that one. This one was Doodles to Live By, and I like the little tabs. I haven't put the tabs on all of them yet, but these little tabs that come with the devotional kits, they're really, they make it really easy to flip to the one you want. Um, so this one was, was Doodles to Live By, and I worked through this one, and I did do some illustrations. I don't know if my camera is going to focus on this or not. Um, so they leave you lots of space to do the illustrations of what you're working on right in the booklet. So this one I did more in the booklet than I did in my Bible, but there's still <laughs> still more work to be done. There's still some pages that I haven't finished yet, but I did. I really like this one too. Um, Cultivate a thankful heart, and I put in the little cloth paper clips that came with the kit. And again, a little tab. I don't think that's the tab that came with it, though. I think that was from um, one of the Illustrated Faith paper kits. So it's just the little birdie. I think that was Seeds of Faith. can't remember. So this one, I liked this one, but I didn't like it as much as I liked some of the other ones, just because it didn't have enough... Um, meat to it, I guess, if, if that makes sense. Um, it left you on your own a lot, which is fine, but it wasn't what I was looking for. So yeah, I'm not as thrilled with this one. And then there's the little stickers that come with the kit and the little card, which of course will fall out if I don't attach them, but I will later. So that's just all of that one. That one is actually done, so I could probably move that one into storage. Um, and then I have um, a little plastic pouch just where I was keeping just little notes and stuff that I was making, um, sticky notes and stuff like that. I used it as a dashboard for a while and then I just was like keeping extra little notes and stuff in there but I emptied it out because I didn't want you guys to see my big mess. Um, Lists by Faith. This one was actually a collaboration I think with Corey from The Reset Girl and I liked it. Uh, I think I am maybe a lister. I don't know. <laughs> I quite enjoyed it. Um, this is the little uh, bobby pin that came, or bobby pin, paper clip that came with it with the little tuft of material. And, oh, I messed up my tab. Did you ever do that? Go to put your tabs on and you hit two pages. I hate it when I do that with my Bibles. So anyway, there's a little tab. And then with this one, I actually was using some Distress Ink, and I have no idea why, but I just felt like it, and it I, it's all through this devotional, because, I don't know. So I, I went to town on this one, and I, I used washi, and I used um, some of the cut aparts, some of the Distress Inks. Um, just, I had a lot of fun with this one. And again, mostly I worked um, directly in the devotional. So, which was nice. And then I stuck the little card at the end. Oh, sorry, that's not the card. That, that is one of the, um, one of the scripture cards. So I stuck that in there too. You can, you can tell, like, there's a lot to these devotionals. You can really have, you can do a lot or you can do a little, depending on how you're feeling. So that's, that one's done. It can be moved. And then I took the little cards, some of the extra little scripture cards or the prompt cards, and I just put them in the other half of the plastic folder, um, just in the business card section. So then when you open it, if you don't stick a paper clip on it, when you open it this way, then you can still read all of the scripture cards. And I really like this. I actually wish that they made them more with um, more business card um, sides rather than just the pouches because I would like to put two or three of these in but I wouldn't want to have all those pouches making all the bulk. Um, this one says through Christ and again the little fabric paper clip. And this one I was working a lot in my Bible. Um, it does have writing in it but like I said most most of it I did I did in my Bible. So not a lot of artwork in here. And that one should be moved too, so that one's ready to be moved. And then, again, there's a secretarial pocket in the back. 
which is great because again I have so many stamps that I get to carry with me and I always keep my spare um, cord too in case I break it with all this stuff in there but all my extra faith-based stamps that one's actually a close to my heart stamp but it's nice to be able to work on the go because like I've said in other videos I spend quite a lot of time waiting for people <laughs> so um, I like to have everything with me so I can just sit down in a quiet corner and work away. So these, I was surprised by how many stamp sets I can actually, like there's what, three, four there, and there's another two there of full size stamp sets that I can keep in here, as well as all of, all of these devotionals. And that of course has the pen loop. And I still have this little pocket here, which I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. Um, I might keep the ex the extra scripture cards that didn't fit in the folder. I might actually just tuck them in there so that I have access to them. And then, yeah, so it's all kept, keeps it all neat and tidy and lets me take it with me real in a really easy fashion. So this is my foxy fix all done up for my illustrated faith. Uh, I hope you like it. If you're not a subscriber, could you subscribe to the channel? And if you hit the little bell, then you'll know every time there's a new video up. And if you're visiting again, then thanks for coming back. And if you leave it in the comments of something that you would be interested in seeing, then I can make your videos based on that. Um, it seems like everybody is interested in the Traveler's Notebooks. And I have to say, I know I went crazy with them and I bought so, so many of them. But I really do love them and they are so flexible. Um, I think I have probably, I hope my husband doesn't watch the video, I probably have six or seven of them now. Um, some of them I bought in buy and sell groups and so that was a really nice way to um, increase my collection. Um, but I don't use these for planning usually. I use them just for, for a particular purpose like you know, this one is my devotionals, and then I have other ones that are just for writing down uh, quotes and stuff that inspire me. And then another one I have um, just to kind of keep tra track of cards that I need to send and stuff like that. Um, for my actual planning, I do, I, uh, yeah, I shouldn't say that. I use my Mr. Darcy um, for my day-to-day -day carry doing my planning, but when I bring it home, I tend to put transfer all that information into a happy planner. So I guess my happy planner is my true, what I use for planning. Um, but I will never stop using these traveler's notebooks because they are just so incredibly versatile. Like, I love them. So I hope if you're deciding to get into traveler's notebooks that this is, you'll like this idea um, of using it to hold your devotionals. And I hope you have a great day and come back and see me soon. Okay, bye-bye.